Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Say Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa Akim, Wa Akwaf, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, quick sit down lesson that I wanted to bring out of uh, Amos 5 and verse 21. And uh, the Heavenly Father, the true name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Baha Shem, in the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the last one, Kadash, the whole time. And once again, Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa Akim, Wa Akwaf, and I say Shalom. And once again, this is a quick sit-down lesson of uh, Amos 5 and verse 21. That's going to be the title of the sit-down lesson. And this is uh, the prophet Amos chapter 5 and verse 21. And it reads, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell your sumble assembly. All right, so the Heavenly Father hate and despise the feast days of the feast days of the Babylonians. And the feast days that doesn't relate to the law, statutes, and commandments. In the righteous path and the righteous ways of the Heavenly Father. So the Heavenly Father, he despised the feast days, you know. That's why it says in Jeremiah 10 and verse 1 through verse 4, learn out the ways of the other nations, you know. Since I mentioned that, I'm going to bring that out. So us Israelites, we're not supposed to follow the customs and the cultures and the feasts and the Babylonian customs of the other nations. But we got to follow the righteous path and the righteous ways of the Heavenly Father. So the Heavenly Father, he uh, he he hate and despise these uh, feast days. If it's not of the customs of the Heavenly Father Himself, that means he hate and despise these uh, feast days. The ancient feast days and these modern day feast days, that's not of the Heavenly Father, you know. So us Israelites, we cannot be pertain and be partaker in these uh, feast days, especially one that's coming up on uh, March the thirty first. So we're not. Also, uh, be part of these uh, feast days. So the Heavenly Father is not dealing with these uh, feast days. That's why the scripture says, I hate and despise the feast days, and I will not smell your psalm assembly. This is uh, Jeremiah 10 and verse 1. It says, Hear, hear, it says, hear ye the words which the Lord Yahweh thy, speak, Yahweh thy power speaketh unto you, O house of Israel, why we are the Israelites. The actual uh, bloodline lineage, the sons and daughters of Jacob, and the sons and daughters of the true living power, which is Yahweh of Israel. So that makes us the children of Israel. Uh, Jeremiah 10, verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, learn not the way of the heathen, heathen just being other nations, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Uh, verse 3 For the customs of the people are vain For one cut of a tree out of the forest And the works of the hands of the worksmen with the axe uh, Verse 10 They deck it with silver and it will go They fasten it with nails and with hammer That it move not Go back to the Amos 3 I mean Amos 5 verse 21 So I can of Amos 5 and verse 21 and it reads it says I hate I despise your feast days and I will not smell your symbol uh, your psalm assemblies verse 22 though ye offer me a burnt offerings and your meat offerings I will not accept them neither I will neither will I regard your peace offerings or your fat of beasts it says, uh, Amos 5 and verse 23, Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melodies of thy vows. So with that, this was just a quick sit down lesson of uh, Amos uh, 5 and verse 21, and a couple of scriptures to help me along the way of this uh, quick sit down lesson of Amos 5 and verse 21. So hey, that shows you that the Heavenly Father, uh, Yahweh of Israel, I hate and I despise your feast days, right? So the Heavenly Father hate and despise these uh, Babylonian uh, feast days. He's not dealing with that, you know. If it's if it's not of of his custom and his ways, so that means the Heavenly Father's not dealing with that. And he's and the Heavenly Father said, "I will not smell your your uh, psalm assembly." So he's not dealing with these uh, feast days, you know. So with that. 
Hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was an edifying of uh, Amos 5 verse 21. And with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kakadash, Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. And until next time, I will say Shalom.